So here's the model we developed. It's called the learning cluster design model. And it's, it's a model because it's both a uh, philosophy and a process, meaning that there's a way of thinking that supports this model and a way of doing. The way of doing is outlined by five actions, and that's what you're seeing in the image there. The change on the job behavior action, learn learner to learner differences, upgrade existing assets, surround learners with meaningful learning assets, and then finally track transformation of everyone's results. What we realized is in order to go beyond one and done, given a particular capability gap, we need to design more than one learning asset. We need to go beyond that single program and actually surround our learners with meaningful learning assets. So this model's goal right from the outset is about designing more than one thing given any particular business um, capability challenge. The second big way of thinking is that we want to target changing on the job behavior. When we look at our historic focus, because we didn't necessarily have the technology yet, we couldn't meet the learner where they're at on the job. Um, and so it was a black box. What happens after the classroom? What happens after the e-learning? What happens after they watch those videos? Our goal is to change on the job behavior. And again, because we're creating a set of meaningful learning assets across the journey, across the flow of work for learners, we think we can get there. We want to focus on diverse learner contexts. Another thing we found really important with the digital age is diversity. We are no longer um, limited to just serving a single target audience. We believe that we, because of technology, we have efficiencies and scale we can leverage in order to meet the needs of diverse learners. And then the last piece is designing the whole, not just the parts. As we get into modern learning, a lot of folks are thinking about more than one asset. They might be designing blended learning. They might be designing a set of videos here, a classroom training here, a social learning experience here. But thinking about how all those pieces work together and aren't just designed separately, having those pieces have an anchor, um, a, core, a, a core piece that they're really going after, that's what's different with the LCD model. So I want to share about the learning product, the end thing. So I keep saying a set of learning assets. We call that learning product a learning cluster. So rather than delivering a training or videos, a course, class, or program, we believe L&D's job is to deliver learning clusters. And this is, again, that set of meaningful, organized, intentional assets. Um, these organized intentional assets, they go in and out of the flow of work. They support when, where, and how learners need to learn. 